Here we have a cockroach. Let's say that at time zero, he is at the origin. 3.8 seconds later, he is moved to an x-coordinate of 0.75 meters. That's a rather fast-moving cockroach. And then, at a time of 9.2 seconds, he has changed direction and he's back to an x-coordinate of 0.25 meters. Let's calculate the total distance traveled. Well, the cockroach starts at the origin, travels 0.75 meters, and then travels back to this position, which is an additional half meter, so the total distance that he's traveled is 1.25 meters. Let's calculate the displacement for each time interval. So between times 1 and 2, the cockroach travels 0.75 meters to the right. Between time 2 and 3, he travels 0.5 meters to the left. And for time interval 1 and 3, Again, displacement only accounts for where we are at the beginning of the time interval and where we are at the end of that time interval. So between time 1 and time 3, the cockroach has undergone a displacement of 0.25 meters to the right. So here we're underscoring the difference between distance and displacement. Let's calculate the cockroach's average speed for the various time intervals. Speed is distance over time, so between time intervals 1 and 2, he travels a distance of 0.75 meters, and 3.8 seconds elapses. That's 0.2 meters per second. Between time intervals 2 and 3, he travels a distance of 1 half of a meter, and the time interval is 5.4 seconds. At the beginning of time interval number 2, we have a time value of 3.8 seconds, and for time 3, we have a time value of 9.2 seconds. So we had to subtract those two, 9.2 minus 3.8, to give us this 5.4 second, 0 0.093 meters per second. Speed is distance over time. So between time 1 and 3, the cockroach travels 1.25 meters in a total of 9.2 seconds, 0.14 meters per second. What about his average velocity for these time intervals? Well, velocity is displacement over time. So between times 1 and 2, he travels 0.75 meters to the right in 3.8 seconds, 0 0.20 meters per second to the right. Notice that whenever we have to report a velocity, we must give a direction. Between time intervals 2 and 3, he travels 0.5 meters to the left in a time of 5.4 seconds, so his average velocity for that time interval is 0 0.093 meters per second to the left. Between times 1 and 3, his displacement is only 0.25 meters to the right, and that requires 9.2 seconds to happen, so his average velocity is a very small 0 0.027 meters per second to the right over those 9.2 seconds.